When we are sorting elements using the JavaScript programming language, it's quite simple to sort one array list. However, the standard behavior of the sort method, that the native method of the array object, sorts only based on text, on, based on strings. So, if you want to sort based in another data type, which could have a more complex comparison, we have the opportunity to customize that. So let's understand the default behavior. Here we have one string array. And here we have a number array. Let's see the behavior of sort method when called by each of these two objects. Okay, running that. What we have here? Okay, the names were properly ordered alphabetically. However, looks at the numbers. They are numbers, they are not string, but the array have treated them as strings. The 111 starts first because it begins with one, then 40, 14 because it has one in the first position and four in the second position. Then it's bigger than 111. Do you understand? It's, it's different than, than numeric sorting. So, the proper sorting number two will come first because it's the smaller number of this list. But the standard sort method does not understand that. For this purpose, we have then to pass as parameter for, the, for this sort method one comparison function. Let's see this example now. Okay, here we have the implementation of that. Basically, call the search function, sort function as before but we pass as parameter another function, that's the comparison function. This function will receive two elements. There, that, that will be the two elements that will be compared by, by the soft algorithm. Then here you, you can define your logic, depending on the types of objects you pass as parameter, because you can pass objects of any time. That's one great advantage of JavaScript. So in this case, I'm assuming this is a list for numbers. So I will convert both lists to both elements to float. And then what's the rule here? We have to return zero when they are equals. We have to return less one, minus one, when it is smaller than the other. And bigger than zero, it means one, when it's bigger than the other element. With this rule, we will be able to have the standard sort function working for a numeric array. Let's test that now. Clear the list, run that again. And here we have the smaller element and the biggest element and all elements sorted in the proper order. So in this video, we have learned how to customize the sort function to have the behavior accordingly with our demands. This code is available to be downloaded at the video description. Thank you for watching.